Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to set up your WordPress website on Cloudflare. Cloudflare, as you probably already know if you're watching this, is a content delivery network or CDN. And what that means is that they copy the core of your, of your website content onto various servers around the world to make it run faster around the world. So uh, there are a number of advantages to Cloudflare in particular. Uh, the three that come straight to mind are one, it's uh, the the core services are free, which is very attractive. Secondly, if you don't already have HTTPS as your uh, website um, uh, standard, in other words, a secure connection, uh, you'll get that automatically with Cloudflare. Now there's a note in there, which is that uh, when you do turn that on, you will find that HTTPS uh, encrypts only the uh, text content of your site. It does not encrypt the web transfers for things like graphics and PDFs. Uh, for most people, that's irrelevant, but just take note of that. That is a hair-splitting thing that some people are worried about. And the last thing is uh, if your site goes down, uh, so in addition to, to theoretically bumping up the performance, if your core site goes down, say you're hosted on GoDaddy or whoever else, and that server goes down for some reason, uh, you will find that Cloudflare will continue to serve your website to as many people that want it around the world, while your server comes back up in the interim. So that's great, it keeps you up and running at least. So as far as that business goes. So let's take a look. So I've already created an account, but if you haven't, you go to cloudflare.com and click sign up. Uh, I'm just, as soon as you click sign up, it's gonna ask you for your email address and precious little else. So you put that in, then you uh, go to the email and you approve that yes, this is your email. Anyway, in my case, I'm just gonna go to login and it's gonna kick off a wizard as soon as I click add site. So if you were to sign in for the very first time, uh, you would immediately be taken to this add site uh, wizard here. So let's just go. I'm going to add uh, Commodore.ca, which is the old 8-bit computers, which are fantastic. Site we're very happy to uh, to own and run. We spent many, many hours, thousands of, well, thousands is probably about right, working on it. So let's click add site. Okay, now what this is going to say is Cloudflare is checking our DNS right now. And uh, it's going to tell us how to kick it over. Click Next. Uh, I'm going to pick the free service. Confirm plan. Yep, I want the free website. And here is my Commodore stuff. Right, that's all my Commodore DNS entries. So what I've got to do is go to my DNS. And I've got to change them to point to Cloudflare rather than to... Uh, well, in this case, GoDaddy. So it's asking us to review these to make sure they're okay. They are. I'm simply going to click continue on this. And now it's telling me I need to change my DNS entries on GoDaddy to be this. And by the way, as soon as I've done this, I'm almost done. I'm going to show you some extras, but that's about it. So let's go do that. Okay, because I'm a reseller, I'm going to go to my own site. That, but it, this is, if you know GoDaddy at all, this is just GoDaddy. They just front it for me, or I front it for them, I guess is maybe the way to word that. There, I'm just going to pop in Commodore. There it is, and I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom, and I just have to change these name servers, so I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to click Change, and I'm going to change it to Custom. Boom. And the second one. Isaac, there we go, and click save, and there we go. So as soon as I save this, uh, what's going to happen is these web servers, let's just refresh this because it didn't look like it took it, but it, I know it has. As soon as I save this, there are they. <laughs> okay, so it's left the old ones in. Let's just keep refreshing here. So it's just those two name servers. So I've saved that, and now what's happening is over the next day, practically speaking, by the way, over the next few minutes to hours, uh, any queries for Commodore.ca content will go off to our friends at Cloudflare. And Cloudflare will serve whatever they can, and then they'll kick back automatically through their internal system uh, back to GoDaddy, whatever content uh, that Cloudflare doesn't have. So basically, I'm already set up. That's, that's the nut of this. So everything from here on are things you should do, but things you don't really have to do. So the number one thing you that you need to do is go to your um, your WordPress admin, go to plugins, select uh, add new, and you want to add the Cloudflare 
flexible SSL. It's a weird graphic, by the way. So yeah, there it is. Looks like a generic one, but that's it. But think, activate it, and there's no settings on it. So there's really not much to do with that. Boom. And what that's doing is that is setting your websites to um, manage their SSL happier in a happier way than they would without it. So while that plugin's not technically required, it's really a good idea. So I would highly recommend you put that on. Next thing you need to do is go back to Cloudflare and click check name servers here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It's all, well, I'll, I'm going to click recheck. No, it only lets you do this once an hour, by the way. So success. See at the bottom here. Okay, so that's happy. So it's already kicked over and it knows it. So this will take eh, maybe a few hours for Cloudflare to start caching up all of your uh, all of the content. While we're waiting, there are a few things to do. The thing you're probably going to want to do is turn on SSL automatically, which is a simple page rule that you can create. So we just click crypto and the SSL. Normally, there's a status here that tells you that's issued or it's in you know it's been requested. Right now, this is so new, nothing's been done. So you have to wait a little while. Um, so we're going to go on, and it says it could take 24 hours. This is a Sunday afternoon. It's probably not that busy. It'll probably get done much faster than that. So uh, what you want to do, uh, firstly, is go to your website and make sure that it still works. And bingo, it does. So I can go through here, and I click Gallery, Advertising, things like that happy the arcades the best people love it it's super popular okay so you can see the site still works now you're going to want to do this a little later on as well to make sure that it still works um, you know an hour or so from now because this may be using cached entries there's ways to verify that but for the purpose of this demonstration I'm not going to show you that so uh, let's go back to our friends uh, here and click on speed and really, there's only a couple of things you want to change. You most likely want to turn on Auto Minify. You probably want to turn on all three of these. So I'm going to do that. Now, it saves things automatically, so there's no need to click Save. But I'm going to turn those on. That's kind of important to do. Most of the other services in here, you have to pay for enough. I'm just not going to do that yet. So, uh, And I would highly recommend that uh, before you make any of these changes, that you go and use a tool like GT Metrics or Tools.Pingdom. Uh, to do some benchmarking. So here's the one that I've done and I've, I've run this from uh, tools.pingdom.com and I'm averaging about three seconds. I've run this many times uh, from different locations and I would suggest you run it from all of these locations and you want to run it at least twice, probably three times and uh, take a look what the uh, statistics are. Um, so if you're anything over, well, I don't know, four or five seconds, you probably need to tweak something. Fortunately, you can scroll down here and it'll give you some suggestions for things to tweak. You can see I've already done most of this. Okay, so let's uh, go through a couple of questions here that uh, are normal. So the first thing is with most web servers, uh, with most hosts, you you don't really have to notify you don't have to notify the uh, the hosting providers, so GoDaddy or anybody else. Uh, it just works. Secondly, um, and this is a really big deal, you do not, and I want to emphasize the word not, ever want to go in and change and change your general settings here to HTTPS. Leave that as HTTP. And the reason is uh, that little plugin that you put in is intelligent enough to know that when you're editing a page to go back to GoDaddy or making a change on the site to go back to GoDaddy. Uh, and uh, so if you change that to HTTPS, um, well, in my case, GoDaddy uh, is not, is not a, I don't have a cert with them. So this will not provide uh, SSL and things will blow up. So do not change these two addresses. Um, under, actually I don't know of a circumstance where you change them, so uh, when it comes to using Cloudflare, just don't. Something else I was worried about was WP SuperCache. Um, basically you're double caching, it's still a good thing, I've checked this, I've spoken with uh, Cloudflare about it. Uh, WP SuperCache is what I use on all of my sites, and uh, just leave it. We're, uh, WP SuperCache uh, will work just fine, you do not have to go into the W, you do not have to go into the CDN and make any changes, don't make any changes to that at all. Also, under Jetpack, there used to be something called Photon, uh, which is um, their caching of uh, pictures, performance and speed, serve images from their global CDN. Yes, just leave that alone. So don't play around with your site. Just all you have to do on your site is add 
the Cloudflare Flexible SSL and activate it. No configuration. There is a special plugin for Cloudflare, their official one. I don't suggest you use it. Uh, you can do all of your uh, configuration from the Cloudflare dashboard. It's just easier to do. It's more consistent. I would just use that. And uh, let's see how the SSL is coming. Right. Okay, so we'll go over to crypto up here. And yeah, still nothing. Let's uh, take a look at one of the other sites so you can see what it looks like when it's done. Yeah, there it is. So universal SSL, active certificate, that's happy. So this is just taking longer than I would expect. Um, once that's done, once that certificate's done, what you need to do, let's go take a look at partisanissues.com, which is another website we have that I've already done this with. So partisanissues.com. Uh, what you want to do is go to your site and add an S to it, HTTPS, and make sure that the site still works. If the site doesn't work, you have some work to do. You're going to have to go Google it and figure it out yourself, figure out what's wrong. But um, if it doesn't work with HTTPS, after, that, um, uh, after that's been added, uh, you're in trouble. Um, so you need, to figure, you need to fix that. Now, the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to force everybody to go to HTTPS rather than non-HTTPS. That's a simple page rule. So let's go build that even though, um, even though uh, we're not ready for it yet on the Commodore site. So I'm going to go back to uh, back to our Cloudflare site, and I'm going to go back to Commodore. Here we go, and I'm going to go to Page Rules. Okay, so you're allowed to create three page rules, and what you want to do in here is put in HTTP colon slash slash asterisk dot whatever your domain is dot com. So actually, so you don't need the dot there, just Commodore dot CA slash asterisk. And the asterisk is just a wildcard. Okay, so it'll be anything that has, uh, so dub dub dub, FTP, .commodore.ca, uh, mail, anything you want that to go through and be uh, encrypted. So you know, then what we do is click add setting and we want to use always use HTTPS, then click save and deploy at the bottom right. I'm not going to do that because the site's not ready yet. So the idea with this is that once you have a certificate, and let's just take a look and see if I do, uh, everybody uses it. So let's just take a look over crypto and still nothing there. So we just got to keep waiting. We're going to do another video on the performance of Cloudflare and what we think of it. So be sure to check that out. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.uartech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.